Also here at 11, several schools in the area are either dismissing early or even closing this week due to the record heat. School officials say it's unusual to make scheduled changes due to heat this time of year. New at 11, 2 News reporter Kristen Escow visited Tip City where both elementary schools closed early today. School officials here in Tip City say both Broadway and Nevin Coppock Elementary Schools will have a two hour early dismissal again Tuesday. The principal here at Broadway Elementary says most of the classrooms are up on the second floor, which can get quite warm. This fan has become a fixture in the second floor hallway of Tip City's Broadway Elementary School. The principal here tells me on hot days like this, the janitor comes in at 5 in the morning to open the windows and turn on all the fans. What did you do at school to try to keep cool? The fans. School officials say Broadway and Nevin Coppock Elementary Schools are without air conditioning in most rooms, and it's not feasible to add to all classrooms. So both schools dismiss students early when administrators decide the temperatures are too high. I actually think it's great because it's so hot in that school that um, she, she comes home pretty wore out every day. Broadway Elementary Principal Tina Smith says the school is giving out water bottles and popsicles to students and taking classes outside to shady areas for some lessons. We do try other things. Students, we have a few places that are air conditioning in the building. Students try to go in and out of those with teaching, um, but our upstairs is very hot. Smith says the district is trying to give parents 24 hours notice about any changes to the schedule. Several young students told me they don't mind being dismissed from school early due to the heat. Because of, then you get to play for your dad and mom. All other schools in Tip City remain on regular schedule. Now, back in May, the school district placed a bond issue on the ballot to build new elementary school classrooms attached to the current intermediate school. Those new classrooms would have had central air conditioning and would have replaced the current elementary schools here in Tip City. But that bond issue failed by about 200 votes. A district spokesperson tells me the school board may still put that bond issue back on the ballot in the future. In Tip City, Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you. And remember, for the latest school closures and delays, both now and through the winter, you can get alerts on your phone through the 2 News app, always free in your phone's app store.